Hello everyone, you are watching Physio Classroom channel and in this fourth video of Brunstrom therapy series, we are going to learn about the important postural reflexes that have been shown to become exaggerated and so easily elicitable in hemiplegia patients. We will also be learning how these exaggerated postural reflexes influence the muscle tone and movement behavior in such patients following conditions like stroke, traumatic brain injury, etc. The following postural reflexes were observed and studied by Signe Brunstrom in hemiplegia patients. These are the tonic neck reflex, namely the asymmetric tonic neck reflex and symmetric tonic neck reflex, followed by tonic labyrinthine reflex and tonic lumbar reflex. Now we all know that during the normal process of development of a newborn baby, these reflexes have been shown to appear and integrate with time as the central nervous system matures. Now reflex integration simply means that with time as the CNS matures, the higher motor centers starts gaining control over the lower motor center activity. Now for example, such as in this case, these tonic postural reflexes are mediated by the lowest most motor center which is the medulla. Now with time as the CNS matures, the higher centers that is the midbrain and cortex gains control over the activity of the medullary centers and so these postural reflexes become less prominent and gets converted into a more purposeful voluntary motor behavior. Now it is important to note that whenever there is an injury or insult to an adult mature brain, the cortex or the higher centers again lose control over the lower motor centers and as a result these postural reflexes which were integrated at the time of the normal development again reappears and become exaggerated. Therefore it becomes important for a physiotherapist to know about these postural reflexes or reactions and utilize the knowledge in assessing and treating hemiplegia patients based on the concept of Brunstrom therapy. So let's first start learning about the tonic neck reflexes. Now tonic neck reflexes are stimulated or evoked by symmetrical or asymmetrical movement of the neck. Now we all know that rotation of the neck to one side increases the extensor tone on the face side limbs and flexor tone on the occiput side limbs. And similarly, the flexion of the neck increases the flexor tone in the upper limb and extensor tone in the lower limb and extension of the neck increases extensor tone in the upper limb and flexor tone in the lower limb. These are the basic information that we have about the ATNR and the STNR reflex. But it is also important for a physiotherapist to know the neurophysiology behind these postural reflexes as it makes the patient's assessment and treatment more easier and effective.